Okay, so now we're going to uh, demonstrate how to take a brightening radiograph um, using a uh, cardboard tab and also a quick bite holder. Okay, first with the bite, the bite wing tab, uh, you need to just double check that uh, Dexter's occlusal plane is approximately parallel to the floor. That's the correct position it should be in. Uh, you then need to open Dexter's mouth as wide as possible. Okay, and you hold, you place the film in the mouth. In Dexter, patients, you can ask them to move their tongue. But with Dexter, you have to move it physically yourself. Okay, you slide your film in, you place it in the required position, you hold on to the tab as you close. Okay, so you need to make sure that you have an equal amount of the tab uh, exposed. Okay, make sure Dexter's biting firmly. You then bring your PID. Now, it's anything from 0 to plus 10 for tab bite wings. Uh, I know the textbook mainly say plus 10, but it depends on your actual patient. So that's something you'll need to uh, think about when you get the different uh, DEXs and the different uh, facial anatomy. Okay? You then line up the PID what the vertical angulation that you would think this one happens to be. It's just about above plus five. Okay? And then you have to think about your horizontal angulation. So you have to visualise the central beam. I tend to use this line as a bit of a guide. The central beam going through the contact points of the teeth. And that's the most important thing about bite wings is making sure that you um, don't have overlaps and the surfaces are clearly visible. Okay, so when you're happy that you've got it aligned, you then go away and you expose as you've been shown. Okay, once it's been taken, remove this. And now we're going to show you how to take a um, bite wing using the quick bite. So you push that up. Turn it over the back, make sure it's nice and even. Might have to push it through a little bit to one side. Happy with that. Now the important thing is you always make sure the black is facing the PID. Okay? The other side, which is where you can see the metal sensor, that always cannot be facing the PID. Okay? So once again, move the tongue out of the way. Okay? Oops. You slide the fossil plate in on the holder, get your position correct in the mouth. Okay, you hold on to the holder as you close Dexter, nice and firmly. Just check that it's nice and firm before you take it. You bring your PID over. Now this is the tricky part sometimes, is lying it up with the holder. If you use this line here on the PID as a bit of a guide, that will help you. So you have to be patient with this. Sometimes the PID moves after you put it in the position that you're happy with. Okay, so you then have to adjust it. Now remember, if you put it in the correct position, you don't have to visualise much at all because the holder is doing that job for you. The holder is making sure the horizontal angulation is correct. Vertical needs to be up, changed a bit there. And you can tell that if you look down from above and you can see that the rod of the quick bite is actually flush with the line on the PID, with the PID. Okay, if you have that, then you should not get overlap. Okay, always double check, make sure that you the vertical is correct by being in line with that line. If you have a look at that, you can see that the vertical then will be correct. Okay? Then you can take the radiograph.